Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today here in Worcester. Uh, we're giving you a video walk around of this 2019 Peugeot uh, Expert. Uh, this is the 2 litre HDI 121 brake horsepower engine with the Euro 6 uh, as well. So if you're going into any of the emission zones, you're all compliant from that point of view. It's a two keeper from new van. We are the second keepers ourselves. We have owned this van for about 12 months. It has been used in one of our loan vans. It's now covered about 112,000 miles. Uh, great little runner, um, nice specification on it. We did have the cam belt and a full service done on it before it went on to fleet. Um, so cam belt was done early on it, which is always a Brucey bonus. Um, and if you haven't watched any of our videos before, the purpose of our videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. So as I say, two keepers from you. Uh, let's get an idea of what it's like condition wise. So we've never run it with any rack on it. Uh, it was owned by a local fire and security company um, uh, to us uh, before we went on fleet. So it's only done kind of fire and security work plus as a loan van to us basically. Uh, coming down, uh, so the roof's looking all good, isn't it? And then coming down onto your front windscreen, that's all good. No major stone chips or cracks that's going to cause any of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto your bonnet, and the bonnet is in good all-round condition. Again, no heavy stone chipping on it or anything like that. And then coming down to your front grille and the front of the front bumper, that's all looking neat and tidy as well. Around to the passenger side, your passenger side headlamp unit is all good and your passenger side front bumper corner is in overall good condition with no heavy scuffing. We have a really minor little mark there and we have a really minor little scratch mark there, but obviously being in the black plastic, all looking good as well. Um, looking down the side profile of the van from this angle and all looking pretty good. There's a couple of dent mandings on the sliding door. I will point them out to you when we get around there so you can have a look at them, um, but they should be fairly easily sorted around to your driver's side headlamp unit that's in good condition and your driver's side front bumper corner that's also in good condition with no heavy scuffing and again looking down the side profile of the van from this angle all looking very neat and tidy nice mirror finish to the paintwork happy days driver's side front wing with side repeater all present and correct driver's side front steel wheel minor elements of corrosion on it um, and we have an Avon tyre. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Driver's side mirror unit, that's all good. Driver's side mirror glass, that's all good. And then driver's side door glass, that's also in good condition as well. Driver's side front door, again, overall good condition. Driver's side front door handle and lock is all good. And then bringing the camera down, looking at your door edges as we come down you can see these are also in good condition as well driver's side lower sills again all in good order with no major damage to them and if you look at your protective strip that goes down the lower half of the car you can see that's in good condition with no major damage only thing that you do have is just a little bit of wear and tear from your foot getting in and out of the vehicle we'll get that touched up for you obviously twin side loading doors on this model and your driver's side side loading door is also in good order. You will notice it does have additional locks for vans, security locks fitted to it. Those are on both of your, uh, your sliding doors and your rear door as well. So those are 160 quid plus the VAT supplied and fitted. So that's saving you a few quids worth and is essential nowadays if you're keeping any kit inside it. Door handle sliding door is good. And if we open it up, the sunshine's come out to play this morning. Have a look inside. Bulkhead, it's done a job. There's a few little minor dings and marks on it, but overall, nice tidy condition. And then looking inside, internal view of your rear doors from this side. And whilst it's done a job in the back, it's not horrific. And then your flooring, all we've done on the flooring, basically just to keep them nice and clean and tidy, is it's got a nice fresh um, coat of garage floor paint on it. Um, nothing wrong with this, with the uh, flooring on it at all. It just spruces them up, makes them look nice and tidy, doesn't it? Entry sills and plastics, overall good, clean, tidy condition as well. A few minor um, uh, wear and tear marks on the sills from getting stuff in and out, but nothing major there. And then to the back of the vehicle, your driver's side rear 
upper quarter's all good and your driver's side rear lower quarter and arch, that's all good as well. Driver's side steel wheel on the back has minor elements of corrosion on it. We have another Avon tire there and that tire is as you see there on the tire tread depth gauge. Where we are with tires, anything less than three millimeters, we will replace the legal limit being 1.6. Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, and again, it's just giving you another viewpoint of it. And let me do a stand back view of the side of the van. And then you can see she's got a nice, respectable look to her. Back to the van, your hinges on your rear doors, okay? Upper one and lower one, both have minor elements of corrosion on them. This is because on these vans, um, they stick out on your side profile as you can see so in the summer in the winter i should say you get a little bit of salt corrosion on them um your rear light unit that's all good no damage and then to the back of the vehicle your rear doors um, now there is a couple of dead man stuff to do on here okay so there's your overview of the rear of the vehicle all right moving in and we have a load of small flies on the back of the van for some reason but upper uh, brake lights all good and if I bring the camera down on your door edges you can see your door edges all the line up no major damage to them now again extra security lock there we have a couple of touch-ins around that just where they caught it with their keys I guess so we've touched those in your driver's side rear door is in overall good condition but there is a little bit of a ding here okay and then on your passenger one they have just slightly caught it here um, we will get our dent man on that or our smart repair man on that and get it sorted for you. So one of those two will get it sorted so it looks nice and tidy for you, okay? Now, let's just get rid of these flies so you don't think that they're stone chips or anything. Um, door handle and locks all looking good. And then your rear bumper with integrated reflectors and parking sensors is in overall good condition. Although there are some wear and tear sort of scuff marks on it. Opening up the rear door to give you another viewpoint into the back of the van. And so there's your bulkhead, as I say, a few minor little dings and scratches on your bulkhead. Um, we have the opening hatch there that gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seats. And then if I just stand back, you can see it's nice and respectable in there, isn't it? Inside of your rear doors, again, minor elements of wear and tear, but overall good condition. down the passenger side oh, the cover plate's falling off now isn't it now we're in trouble oh there we go steven spielberg i am not we have put the cover plate back on the reason why we cover the plates up on these vans is because the unscrupulous members of the public will copy the number plate on the van and clone the van and then run every speed camera parking ticket etc in the country so we're not hiding anything what we're doing is protecting your future investment all right so i've just banged that back on um, rear uh, lights, as you can see, all good. Hinges, minor elements of corrosion on there. Rear bumper corner, all looking pretty good. And then looking down that side profile of the van again, all pretty good. Uh, upper quarter this side has a few uh, flies on it for some reason, but all looking good. Lower quarter and arch is in overall good condition, but there is a very slight scratch mark here, which we can get touched in for you, but I think that's about as far as we'd be going with it. Fuel flap, lockable, all looking good. Steel wheel on the back, minor elements of corrosion. We have a continental tire on there. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see. Two to your sliding door on this side. So again, the sliding door, as I said earlier on, when I was at the front of the vehicle, has a couple of dings on it. Okay, you've got one here. Hasn't broken the paintwork or anything. Fairly easy for the dead man to do. And then you have your one down here, which is almost standard from the factory. So we'll get the dent man on that one as well. Um, let's get down low, check out your lower sills. And again, overall good condition on those with no major damage. And it's the same with your protective strips down the side of the vehicle. Passenger side front door, again, overall good condition. Door locks all good. Door handle and locks on both of these doors are good. Glass on this side is all good. Mirror unit and glass is good. And then your passenger side front wing and side repeat is all good. Uh, passenger side front steel wheel all good we have an avon tire there and that tire has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see there just give you a viewpoint of the back of the van 
from the sliding door on this side. Your door shuts are clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics are good. Viewpoint on your bulkhead. Ceiling inside the van, rear doors, and then obviously just your ply lining kit, etc. There we go. Now the sun's come out to play now. That'll cause me havoc with the inside of the van. But there's your door card. Overall clean, tidy condition, as you can see. Door bins are clean and tidy. Door shuts, again, clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics are all good. There is your add blue filler down there. Inside the van, have a look at your flooring, and that is in overall good condition as well. There's your bonnet pull there, so we'll have a look in there. Uh, we have two glove boxes. The lower one here. Uh, no, we don't have two glove boxes. We have, <laughs> we have one glove box. And then top of the dashboard, you do have passenger airbag, cup holder, a bit of storage on the centre there. And then headlining inside the van's all good. And then your passenger seat to trim. Let me move our camera out of the way. That's in overall clean, tidy condition as well. Now we do have additional storage just underneath the seat there. And then on your armrest here, we have this sliding kind of um, bit here, which, yeah, I have no idea what the usefulness of that is. I have no idea. But this blue tab down here, grab that, pull it, and that will move your seat up there. So if you are using that additional storage hatch, uh, from the inside of the van you can load stuff into the front there as well and that just simply pushes back down that way so bonnet that little handle there push it up that opens up your bonnet and then under here we have fuse box battery air box uh, oil dipstick oil filler coolant correct color coolant for uh, Peugeot Citroen and all looking good with no contamination and then your engine as you can see is clean and tidy as well no dashboard warning lights on it or anything like that and then uh, door card this side to move our price board out of the way and you can see the door card is all good door bins are good electric windows and electric mirrors are here entry sills and plastics on this side are in good condition the door shuts are clean and tidy and then your driver's side flooring minor elements of wear and tear on there but nothing major pedal rubbers are all good driver's side seat trim as you can see that's all in good condition as well and then this vehicle does have a little bit of additional spec to it okay so 112,000 miles as you can see there let's fire her up fires up nicely um now turn that down a second we have first bit of additional spec is your multi-function steering wheel so not all of them get it this one does have it bit of multi-function going on we also have auto wipers and we also have auto lights as well there's your cruise control with speed limiter and then on the dashboard here not only um, do we have your standard DAB AM and FM we also have factory navigation unit as well and then also you have, let's get to the right screen, um, basically your DAB FM, no, not your, you get your, you get your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, uh, and all of that on there as well, okay? Um, we have the God-given right of air conditioning, and then we have hazard warning lights, central locking for the back of the van, central locking for the whole van, 12 volt power, USB power, six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear to the left and then forward, and that activates your park distance display on your screen there as well. And now this van does have an additional alarm and immobilizer upgrade um, that this company runs on them. And then there we go, top of your dashboards all looking neat and tidy. It's a really nice spec van. So electric windows, electric mirrors, aircon, DAB, FM, AM, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, factory satellite navigation, your multifunction steering wheel, your auto lights, your auto wipers. And there we go. Nice bit of kit. Now, there are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vans if you want
you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Trustpilot, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and there we go, folks. Uh, and also, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, because if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then they go on here, first of all. Uh, well done, 15 minutes of your life or, or more that you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in this van, it gives you a very good, honest description of what it is that you're buying. Cheers.